Step number three, prepare your browser or MQTT client. As a next step, we need an MQTT client to send messages and uh, try to receive messages. So let's find an MQTT client for Chrome. Simply click on the tools, extensions, and then go into the get more extensions category of Chrome, redirecting you to the Chrome Web Store. If you key in MQTT, you can find a number of clients that you can directly add to your Chrome browser. For sure, you can also use command line tools or other MQTT clients of your choice. Once, <clears throat> in this case, MQTT Lens is installed, you can simply start it from the apps category of Chrome and use it from within your browser. You need to set up a connection. This we are going to uh, call local broker. Local, and that runs on localhost. And we need to provide a username and password. In this case, as it is connected to the API gateway, we need to provide a user that is configured in the local repository of our gateway. By default, this could be, for example, the rec admin with change me as a password. Then create the connection. What you are going to realize is that the current configuration is not allowing you to connect to the MQTT broker that way. Seems that the username and password is wrong. So you can see this by looking into the logs of the Docker container that is currently running. To perform some further tests, we need to first complete the test configuration in order to proceed.